guys, this is Zonabra uh, for a brand new uh, video, a little bit special. This time I'm going to do some sort of podcast, giving you advice on how, uh, on the, actually giving you, like just talking about random subjects. You know what, we're just going to talk about random shit. And today I really want to talk about in this podcast on uh, how, why, why you're stuck in ill hell, why you are... Uh, why are you you're just losing your games in solo queues and I'm gonna give you a few advice about it and I hope uh, this video can help you uh, this is not gonna be technical uh, it's not gonna be a match country it's just gonna be uh, between you and me uh, throughout this video and I'm gonna tell you a little bit how you can get yourself out of bronze out of silver whatever to reach your goal to diamond and above um, so let's start right now number one guys the number one a mistake that you do is that you do not communicate. You do not communicate with your teammates, at least not enough. You think that everything is going according to your plan. You think that every, every like you think that your teammates know uh, what the hell is going on in your head, and you blame people for ex for not uh, for not. Uh, being suitable to your standard like you think that your jungle knows that there was the jungle there like don't think about this if you've seen Gragas jungle in the bush you should tell your jungle that there's a Gragas in this bush if you're mid laner if the mid laner if you're mid laner and the mid laner against you wards the bush tell your jungle and then the bush is warded so he doesn't waste time uh, and you know, all of this, like communication in team fights. if you don't have your ult, then tell your teammates you don't have your ult, for fuck's sake. Like, it's amazing how I see people just blaming their their teammates, and and you're like, they're like, bro, like, you didn't tell shit. Like, you did not tell shit. Like, straight up, you did not tell shit. I didn't know you didn't have ult. I didn't know you were, like, you misclicked your uh, shockwave on wolf or on blue buff. I, I didn't know that, man. So you got to tell me. And as well, as well, like, you know, like, when it's uh, shot calling and stuff, like, think as if your teammates were literally bots, okay, that you could control from some kind of commands. If you want to take the lead on your team, take it. If you want to say to your team, let's go bot, it's obvious that the top inhibitor and the mid inhibitor is dead, let's go bot. Think that your teammates are stupid people. And just tell them, guys, let's go bot. We have nothing to do mid and top. Or ping. Spam your pings. I don't care. Get yourself, like, a good, like, like get yourself a good amount of uh, communication with your team. Otherwise, uh, you just have no reason to complain about them. So that's it for number one. Number two now. It's uh, something really important that I'm really tired of seeing on, especially people I used to coach. Uh, or even teams I used to coach. Do not throw a game that you are supposed to win. Please. Please, 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 please. Do not throw a game that you're supposed to win. If you're like 8-0 and you play ADC and you just want to chill and you just overextend in bot lane and you give one kill a shutdown and then you give another kill and then you give another kill but because you were at zero you feel that you're all like you always at zero so you just fuck up the game and you throw group with your team as soon as you can as soon as you have all the tier one turret and the laning phase is over start going for I don't know, like an early hero or an early baron. I don't know what minute is it. Start invading the jungle together. Start pushing towards a tier 2 turret. Do always something so you can win. Because how many times? How many times you were in a game, you're like, damn, the winning, the laning phase is going so well, there's no way we're going to lose this. And then you end up throwing the game and you just freaking lose. Well, it happens a lot, guys. It happens a lot because you guys are not focused. You're not focused, you're like, oh, I'm fed, like, I can just, like, pimp and stuff, I'm the shit, I'm the shit, look at my damage, look at my biceps, look at my, whatever, I don't care about your biceps, just win games and move on to the next one so you can clean this, 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 this fucking ladder, clean the ladder, man, just don't, like, don't tell your friends that you're already, like, oh, my God, dude, I'm 7-0 with this airy. and then you go, you're gonna go to your friends and bitch about a game, Oh, well, dude, I was 7 0 with every mid. I don't get it, man. Like, uh, I don't get it, man. I was 7 0. I was crushing my lane. 
Well, I don't care you were seven zero. Man, if you didn't win the game, you didn't win the game. That doesn't matter the KDA you had. What matters is the LP you get. So that's something you have to know, bro. Is that you have to stop throwing game. Always like be like I don't know like. Picture yourself as your mom is going to call you for dinner and you have to finish the game as soon as possible. Play in this mindset and you will win more games. You will win more games. All right, number three. is pretty simple. Um, if you want to win in solo queue, don't be toxic. Don't be... Okay, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm the type of people... I, will, I used to speak on Reddit a lot about this. Uh, I did a post. I don't know if you saw it. I don't know if you know me. Um... And I was I was saying, guys, I really think that the smart pings, so like you know when you drop, like when you click on G and you go left, right, uh, uh, down or left, I, I was like, I think it's enough. I think it's enough. Why would we need to chat? The chat is literally useless. People are using chat for insults, for blaming, uh, for 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 troll. Um, and I, 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 what I feel from my experience, and I was saying this in my article, is that I feel like ninety five percent of the time. The chat is useless. Five percent of the time, people like actually say, "Guys, we should get dragon. Guys, we should get top bot, whatever." But I feel like most of the time, the chat is pretty useless, and I feel like the smart pings are enough for you. Uh, I enough like communi- like is enough as a communication tool uh, that like f- so you can communicate with your teammates and win the game. So basically, when I say don't be toxic, guys, is that you will not win all your games. And I'm saying this because it's like this is the first thing I say to my to to my past student is that it's not very important if you don't win this game like this game right now what's important is that you win 51 out of 100 of your next game out of the next 100 game focus on winning 51 percent and this is by uh telling yourself how what the mistakes you did uh, how you can get better all throughout the game uh, what match how to counter pick and all that shit but we'll come back to this later. But what I'm saying, don't, don't, don't be toxic. It's just like, just don't insult, guys. Don't be this guy who just bitch about uh, first blood, whatever. Even if you get invaded and the guy's AFK for some reason, he gets killed. Just don't bitch about it, man. He died. 1-0 for the enemy team. Whatever, man. Just get over it. Get over it, man. It's over. Anyway, what is the point of, like, literally, uh, like... Going over and over and over in something that happened in the past. Like, no reason. You're not going to say, oh, man, what the fuck? You were FK? Fuck you, man. I'm going to report you and shit. No. Just say, man, okay, it's cool. Just make sure you'll be careful next time. Let's get this game going. Let's focus on that shit. And let's crush those bitches, right? So be like this, man. Be Have a cool mindset. Um, you're playing with four random people that you'll probably never play again. Except if you like Challenger. But don't be toxic, guys. Toxic players are never the cool ones. And uh, they're never the one that get respected. And just don't be toxic. It's not even cool, man. Just play your game. Focus on yourself, man. If you wanna, if you're mad at someone, just mute him. Mute everyone. Don't even mute. Hide the chat under your spell bar. And just like play your game. Try, try to crush your lane. Try to teach people how to play. Try to make your gameplay speak for yourself. And you'll see that. Damn, you will win so much in focus, and you will win more games. Again. So. Uh, that was number three. Number four now is what I call the never surrender mindset. Okay, so this is really, really, really important. The never surrender mindset, as it says, it's kind of speaks for itself as a title, but it's basically until there is not uh, the re- the the defeat re- uh, written on your screen, you do not give up the game ever, ever, ever. Do not, do not, as long as there's not defeat on your screen, do not surrender. Never surrender, man. What I think is that you don't know if someone's going to go FK. You don't want if someone's mom is going to freak out of some, uh, of some guys in the enemy team because he's been playing too much video games and he has to FK. And guess what? It's the 20, uh, 20 kills, 2 death Lucian that is going to be AFK. You don't know. You don't know nothing, man. People throw. People are toxic. People... Um, like to throw games people are just bad at the game generally and there's no way there is not going to be a mistake that they're going to do okay i'm talking even like 20k gold difference it doesn't matter man you can have if the adc has all the kids and he's just a 
uh, of overextending a douchebag who just like, yeah, I'm 22, uh, whatever, I'm gonna kill anyone that comes. If you keep on catching him, catching him, and and like you can snowball, man. Like even if you lose uh, early inhibitors. Uh, it brings farm to your base. You can farm safely, uh, build some items, give the farm to your carries, etc., etc., etc. There's always a good way to come back. Okay, uh, capitalize on enemy mistakes, analyze the mistakes uh, that they do, and try to expect them, like to, to, to like catch them before it happens, and do not do any mistakes. Like you don't have like okay, when you're losing, when you have any burners down. I mean, you can't do mistakes anymore. You've just done too much already. All right. No, never surrender. Like, never surrender. I don't care if you won one and seven in your lane. I don't care if, uh, uh, like, your Blitzcrank support is AFK and it's a 4v5. I have won 4v5. You probably too. And you're like, damn, bro, I cannot believe we won this 4v5. It was, like, crazy. Uh, there was the synergy between the team, whatever. If it ha never happened to you, it would happen eventually. And you will feel like the most... Like, glorious person on earth. Alright. Number five, the last but not least, as we all say, is always, a ha as, like, always ask yourself questions. Always ask yourself questions. So, what do I mean by that is that when you finish a game, um, or a fin when you finish a series of game or one game, just don't be like, mm, you know, man, like, just let's go for the next one, and let's go for the next one. Just don't be like that, Okay. Every game is an experience that you have to learn from. Let me repeat that. Every game needs to be an experience that you need to learn from. Ask yourself, what did you do wrong? What have you, what have you done wrong? And what have you done well? Wow, I was good at this, but I was bad at that. I was shitty at last inning, but all those, 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 those rotations were good. I was good at keeping vision, but... I was overextending. Like, be like this. Be like this. So, all oh, every game you see improvement. You need to see improvement every every game. It's like if you were at the gym and you were always benching the same weight. You can't just do that every time, every day at the gym. You just bench the same weight. That's that's freaking useless. There's no progress. Like, you're not gonna build muscle. Like, you're not gonna do anything. Well, this is the same thing for Link, man. If you don't ask yourself anything, if you don't like remind yourself that you're bad and you need to improve. And if you don't if you don't set your ego aside, then you'll never improve because guess what? Like you're not the best at League of Legends, and you probably you probably suck at the game. But it's fine. So always ask yourself, what did you do wrong? What did you do right? What do you need to improve? What do you what do you need to focus on so that in the next game you do not do you don't do the same mistakes? This is really important, and this is one of the way I improved to Diamond. Uh, and almost master like I was like diamond one. It's really important. It's really important It's really important because and this is how pro gamers do it. It's not me. I have a magic trick It's it's not a magic trick. It's like pro gamers they play a game. Okay in LCS or in screams They, they record the game they go with the analyst and coach they re They rewatch the game and they talk about it they say, oh, dude, you need to do that. Don't forget to place this ward at 5 minutes and 40 seconds. Uh, do not forget to buy a pink. Like, this is really important. You have so many websites that gives you data as about how many wards you buy, how many pinks you, you buy, um, like, all, all that stuff. And, like, do not decide to use, like, services like uh, Lol Replay, I think it's this, uh, Lol Record. Um, I don't know. It's OP.GG. Like, all those websites that gives you uh, uh, recording and allows you to rewatch your game. Do not decide to just watch it. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna do something for you. If you want me to, uh, if you want me to to come in your your, your record, just send me a link. Send me the file. Uh, if you go to learnall.com, basically there's a there's a section. If you scroll down the homepage, uh, down down down, you can post a file. If you want to send me your game, uh, please do it. I will tell you what you're doing wrong. If you're having trouble analyzing that, if you're having trouble analyzing that, I will tell you what you do wrong and what you need to work on. Uh, it's not going to be coaching. It's just I'm going to watch your game and basically say, you suck at this, but you're good at that. Basically. So basically, okay. So let's rewind a little bit. Let's go all the way uh, through the five. So one, first one, communication. Okay. Talk more to your teammate. Don't expect your teammates to know what the hell is going on in your head and what you're thinking. And it's not because you saw someone ward that the jungle, your jungle knows that there's a ward. Okay. Uh, two. Do not throw a game that you're supposed to win. 
do not throw a game you're supposed to win, man. Like, do not. Just do not. Please. Come on. Okay? Thanks. Three, do not be toxic. Do not be toxic. Just don't be a bitch, man. Just play your game. Play your best. If you win, you win. You win. You lose, you lose. Just think about your own self. Uh, you need to be the best. Uh, screw your teammates. I mean, screw your teammates. Like, play. Teamwork is very important, especially in the meta. But do not uh, focus on other people's mistakes. Uh, they do not matter at the end of the day. Your mistakes matter. Uh, your improvements matter uh, most. I, I like your improvements matter, but it's also important to play in teamwork. So just do not blame the guy because he sucks. Everyone has bad games, right? Number four, the never surrender mindset. The never surrender mindset, well, pretty self explanatory. Just do not quit until, uh, do not quit until you win or until there's defeat on your screen. Uh, because I swear, there's so many games that you could have come back from, but you decided to surrender at 20 minutes because they had like 5k gold advantage, whatever. And number five, always ask yourself question. Put your ego aside, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, fellow summoners, and try to learn from your mistakes. And that's pretty much it, guys. This was a podcast about an article that I've done on learnall.com uh, saying, why are you stuck in ill hell? This was five ways to get out of it. I hope you liked it. If you want to see more podcasts like this, please leave a comment down below. Uh, drop me a blue thumb. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it, man. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next one.